Hey guys, we got a barn burner today. We got a ton of stuff in this video. We got Dr. Alex, an intern that came and watched our treatment. You get his response and what he thinks about the chiropractic that we're doing in our office. We also have Jay, low back pain, herniated disc, tons of pain for years and years and years. Remember him, check out part one if you missed that. We have tons of different adjustments. I think you're gonna love this video. Check it out. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Nervous. You are nervous, really? Yeah. Had a little regression this weekend. Oh, I had a little miscommunication, but he'll be fine. His mother-in-law, which he hang out, hung out with this weekend, thought what when she met, saw you? She immediately said I look better. Yeah, so that's awesome. So for you, we're gonna go right through this upper neck of yours. The atlas right up in here. And it's right under the mastoid process, guys. Come right off the mastoid, right onto the lateral mass of C1. You can see he's always he's already a little sensitive in there. I want to make sure I have good contact. I'm getting right in the right angle, right line of drive. I'm going to come in here, and he's a little nervous. Wow. What did that feel like? I think not as much movement as, as we, we thought it would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Left side, oh wow, it's already going to be way, way easier. The thing that makes it difficult to adjust an atlas, guys, a lot of scar tissue in there. When I brought him this way, his atlas just falls right in the slot real easy, so this side will be a lot easier. Yeah. Oh. Did you feel that dog? Yeah. How painful is that? Pretty painful? Yes. Yeah. Not so bad down here as much? Yeah, or more down here? More here, right? This is the one I want to adjust right there. Can we just do it? <laughs> Good. Yeah. One more here. One more here. Good. There we go. Pretty painful, right? Because you're still art relaxing your shoulders. Feels great. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Less filling. Gotcha. Yeah, man. Right in there, dog. I think the left side's worse still, though. Stay right there. I'm gonna do the shoulder now. This won't hurt at all. Good. Good. Beautiful. Um, today we're going to light up Jay's back, uh, herniated disc. He has a big gigantic one about L4 here and that he's really worried about. They've talked about surgery on him. He's had injections on this. Um, we haven't touched it the whole time. He's doing better and you guys have seen that in the videos. Uh, he has a huge herniated disc which I'm putting up on the MRI right now in the front of his spine and you're like, why does that matter? There's no nerve endings there but it does alter the way his spine is working. So we are going to what? I just threw it. And so I'm going to show you guys how much pain he's in right now. We just did a little tester yesterday and didn't adjust him. We just pushed on his back. How much pain is this, Jay? Yep. Yeah. Tons of pain. Up here, a little less. Right here, more, right? There yeah. it is, baby. That's the that's the bad one, right? And here's his L4 oh. down here, okay? I am not going to even touch his L4. I'm just going to touch his L1, L2, where the other one is, okay? And so we're going to let this table loose here. We want his belly to go down. We want to be free. Um, he is one scared puppy, and I'm a little nervous too, actually, guys. A little nervous myself. Okay. Okay, let the shoulders reach under the, reach, kind of reach under the table, please. Turn your hands, palms up, please. Good. Now, I want you to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Push your belly down. Oh. How was that, sir? That as bad as you thought? It actually wasn't bad. Gotcha. We're going to go a little deeper now, okay? okay? That wasn't as bad as I thought, too, okay? So I was kind of backing off because I was a little nervous on this one too. Okay, we're gonna let his belly go down more. Good. How painful is this? Not bad. Good. Because I took my hands off his spine. Okay, breathe in, please. And push your belly down again. More down. Good. That would hurt more, right? Yeah. <laughs> you guys hear that? I don't know if you heard it from the spine, but he knows I moved something down there. I don't need to do any more. Okay, that was pretty good, guys. What'd you think, Jay? Oh, God damn. <laughs> there you go. Mid cervical here. We haven't done this since last week. Excellent. Good. The adjustments now, right? The neck adjustments? Yeah. Yeah, why is it hurting less? Less inflammation. 
Jay, and this is a new uh, intern. Uh, he's Dr. Alejandro here, and he is in his ninth term or twelfth term, whatever. For he's he's one more term to go to graduate. He just saw this wonderful back adjustment I did on this patient here, and I have not asked him this question yet, but I wanted to get on camera. What do you think of what you just saw? I'm kind of curious. The way I felt seeing it, seeing him so much in pain, just from you, just simply palpating, it kind of kind of. Got me a little nervous to see him get adjusted that way just because so you were so nervous just watching me do it yeah I was gotcha wanting, i love yeah. it and we want to I, i'm just showing you guys that this is not an easy thing and a doctor has been adjusting he's been adjusting patients he's not you know i'm not out adjusting people all the time but he's been doing it for a year now or so yeah. and he's a little nervous watching me do it why were you nervous um it just seemed like that was probably not an area that we should be moving at all <laughs> just because it was so inflamed so and so tender to touch so you know, I was not expecting you to go for it, and you did. And yeah. It helped them tremendously. And you saw the good. difference. Fear stops us from getting better. You know how to help people. Just help them, doctor. How are you feeling, dude? Much better. Awesome. Adjustment two, same day. I really want to go right in here. It's going to hurt more, but we're going to get a little deeper adjustment, a little deeper set. I'm going to use a piezoform contact right on his L2 vertebrae here. And he's relaxing good because he wants me to do this. I can feel it. Little tissue slack, inferior superior. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. And so you guys are like, why do you hurt those patients? You guys are helping them. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Oh. Young, dumb, and full of cum. That's what they say. <laughs> you ever heard that before? <laughs> yes. It still would hurt. A little less than low back? Yeah, much less. Oh, wow, that, that was <laughs> tight! Good, I'm gonna pull you down here. Good, like that, like that, good. Okay, hold your wrist like that, just hold it right there. Okay, I'm gonna roll you towards me. Uh, I don't usually do this on patients, guys. You see this, you don't see me doing this, guys, um, on patients very often, especially in two-week plans. But his hips are jacked up. Now I even wanna do something else. I almost thought about doing a post base posterior, which is a sacrum adjustment. But I think I'm adjusting hips. So PI, left here. How much pain in your back when you do this? A lot of pain? Uh, it's probably like a six. A six? Okay, let's do this. So I'm a little worried about torquing his, his um, herniated disc down here. How was that? Was that a six? Oh, that wasn't bad. I want to do a little more, okay? Okay, that was just, there we go. <laughs> How much pain this side, sir? Not bad. Not bad at all? Yep. Okay. Still not bad right here? Yep, yep. not yep. bad. <clears throat> you okay? Yep. Try to adjust L4 a little bit. I'm a little worried about you because it's my last day with you. So why am I doing this, guys? Because he survived all my other adjustments. Pumping action here. How painful is that? Pretty painful, right? Maybe a five. Because I'm trying to create motion in there, right? More motion means what? More less inflammation eventually, yes. right? How bad is that, sir? Maybe a nine. <laughs> Maybe a nine. There we go. Got a little bit. Again, I hate being a pansy as a chiropractor, but again, I'm not going to see him. I don't. I don't have the chance to see him when I want to see him. So no, that's all I'm going to do on that one. Okay. Good. Good. All I'm going to do is pump it. Okay. Yes, Ten pumps. Breathe in and out. I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to exercise the disc. This program really makes you question how you've been living your life. Um, I mean, I'm still pretty young, 30 years, but I had so much to learn, so much to unlearn too about my lifestyle. Um, and everything I was doing that was affecting me. So, um, interesting. This program has really been eye-opening. When you guys come here, all the shit you're told out there is wrong. And I'm the only one who's right. I know you guys don't believe that, and it sounds farce, it sounds like a real crazy thing, and I sound totally narcissistic, which I am. But he will be here to tell you that uh, the stuff I teach changes his body. Yeah. Okay. It, it, at first, it sounds completely unrealistic, but it changes your body, and so that's why he's reassessing his whole kind of idea of the um, of his life. Yeah, yesterday, 50%. And that was the best he was. Yeah. 
today I think I'm even a little bit better more. 65, 70 maybe? Yeah, maybe 60. Yeah, this morning after Dr. Thayer did the adjustment, I felt amazing. Now this morning I went right for the L4 herniated disc and he hated it. Nine out of 10 pain when I was trying to work it. Felt great. <laughs> you know? I helped a lot. <clears throat> your number one thing you hated about your life, that if I could just get rid of that one thing, your left fucking hip, how much better is that? Oh, 80% better. <laughs> no, isn't that funny? We don't yeah. talk about it. Yeah. Second thing was the left calf. Mm -hmm. Lateral calf or something, think left on the outside too. Yes, correct. Yeah, so how much better is that? Way better. At least 60% better. And the third thing is his low back pain. Mm -hmm. And so how much better is that? Significantly better too. Right? Yep. Gotcha. We've gone way beyond these symptoms that he came in with. We've been working on range of motion now. We're working on different exercises to increase low, lower doses. We're working on decreased inflammation. We're working on different ways to walk. I mean, we've gone way beyond the symptoms. Yeah, absolutely. Way beyond symptoms. Uh, I wish I came much sooner, and I wish I had learned everything that he's taught me. Uh, much sooner so that way I wouldn't have been in so much pain. Wasted five years. Yeah. I have to unlearn everything that I had learned in the 30 years that I've been alive because that's actually what has messed me up. And so being, having to unlearn that, it's so much harder than it sounds because that's all that muscle memory, the habits that you have and you have to unlearn it in order to implement Dr. Thayer's method. You see time and time again, and I had been in class with you know two other classmates, and you see from them that they're improving, <clears throat> you feel it in yourself too, and it just reassures you every time uh, that this is actually working. It's not just him telling us it's working, we're saying it ourselves, and um, you see it in yourself and other people too, yeah. Exactly. Why don't you give us a little flavor of how emotional this is? Yeah, it was uh, it was really heavy um, earlier today, and you know, part of it for me was feeling the relief from uh, the adjustment this morning, but also really putting my mind into focus on what I need to do in the future for myself to get myself actually better. Because the last couple of weeks. It's, it's nice to have Dr. Thayer around because he's there to remind you of all these things that you need to do, but realizing what you actually have to do for yourself in the future, it's it's huge. It's going to be monumental and it's going to be really hard. Is that what that was about? Interesting. Yeah. I thought it was going to go a different direction with that. Anything else you want to share? Uh, the only thing is um, I really wish I came out sooner and I'm very grateful for my wife to allow me to be here yeah and, yeah and so uh, again wonderful man and uh, uh, I really enjoy these classes I really enjoy connecting with these patients because uh, you know changing lives is what it's all about Do you ever have any of the chiropractors try to adjust your back down here I thought it was weird because I would tell them I'm in a lot of pain and they're like oh we're not gonna adjust you today we're gonna put you on the decompression <laughs> Got you nine that one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I push kind of harder, so. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Peace.